Hi, this is Joseph. It's Wednesday. It's January 15th, 2014. And I'd like to briefly walk you through a particular trade setup that I use. And we actually use this and took this trade with the trade copier and it earned approximately 40 pips. And you can do the same thing every single time. It's a really uh, pretty basic and easy to identify type of trade. It's uh, um, all about pattern recognition. And this particular trade is called the HL30. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm waiting until that rollover period occurs, and then I'm identifying the previous day's high, and then I'm looking at the previous day's low. Obviously, the low is all the way back down here to the left, and we really didn't have to worry about it. But when the rollover period occurs, what we do is we notice where price is relative to the previous day's high and low. And in this case, obviously price was at resistance. And after some kind of trending move or some kind of small rally, even a short-term rally like this, what we're doing is basically trading a reversal or a pullback. It actually ends up being a pullback. But depending on the type of, of rally or the type of move that was in place before all of this set up, that really gives us the opportunity to trade how deep the retracement actually ends up going. So you can sort of draw the fibs from this low to this high and use your Fibonacci tool and then identify possible support levels that price might stop at. But that's really more or less where you would find or help confirm your exit or your take profit levels. But with this particular trade and me and my students, we refer to this trade as the easiest trading technique ever. And the reason is that, and, and this is truly uh, this is totally true. I mean, this is this is one of the easiest trading strategies that I've ever seen in my entire trading career. I started trading in 2001. I actually developed this method, and it it, it really is because you're only looking for one basic type of candle pattern. You're looking for a reversal candle pattern, and the reversal candle pattern can be either a morning star or an evening star, and then that bullish or uh, bearish engulfing candle pattern. So it's really simple. And we're not looking for any of these exotic type of candle patterns the way you find in a lot of those uh, candlestick books. You know, it's just very simple. It's very on or off. It's either it confirms yes or no. And we've got a checklist that accompanies this particular trading technique to make sure that you're doing it right. And I just basically use one indicator. I use the CCI indicator and I set it at 14. And I use this particular technique on the 30 minute chart. Now, again, once I identify the resistance point, or the high and the low from the previous day. I then wait for a reversal signal candle and you can see it here. It's really a pretty strong engulfing candle and it really sort of completes if you were to group several of these candle patterns into a evening star pattern. Now once we get the closed candle, we have to wait for the candle to close to give me the actual candle pattern and the signal. The entry is on the close of that candle. Once we have the entry, we look for a 40 pip target and a 40 pip, we use a 40 pip stop. And the reason we use a 40 pip target and 40 pip stop on this particular currency is that this is this trade was actually on the euro yen. And on the euro yen or the pound yen, those yen crosses, as I'm sure you're probably already aware, they can move much further and cover a greater distance than the euro dollar and the pound dollar. When I trade the HL30 on the pound dollar or the euro dollar, I'm just using a 20 pip target and a 20 pip stop. So if you're not interested in using a trade like this with a 40 pip stop, you can easily use this same technique and then simply trade it on the euro dollar or the pound dollar. Very simple. Again, it's a 20 pip target, 20 pip stop, and the principle is the exact same thing. Now, there are specific times and locations when I find this particular trade and it develops and it gives me a signal, and there are times when I don't trade this particular candle pattern. So you really want to be aware of the ins and outs and uh, all of the details that are involved in taking a trade like this. So I teach you exactly when not to trade this trade as well as when to use this technique. So you, here you can clearly see the stop and here you can clearly see the target. You can see how many hours it actually took. This is again a 30 minute chart. It took several hours for it to actually reach the target. Sometimes it'll drop straight down if it's news driven, uh, maybe within a couple of hours, and other times it'll take maybe six or seven hours. It all depends. Every trade is a little bit different, but we're looking for the structure to remain intact. And you'll notice that the stop never really came in place. Sometimes after you get the signal, it'll pull back up and sort of test that range or test the previous day's resistance point. And that's not uncommon. That's not out of the possibilities. So we have to just make sure that the structure of the trade remains intact, and then it smoothly goes right to that 40 pip target. This is an awesome technique and I have many students that use just this 
this technique exclusively and they've made a lot of money and again we use this technique with the trade copier all of my subscribers that were using my trade copier all got the same trade and you can start getting trades just like this in your MT4 account when you sign up to use my MetaTrader trade copier program thanks for watching and I hope you had a great trading day